Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam J. Pestridge and thank you for watching and welcome to the Crown of Kings. So we're playing the fourth part in Steve Jackson's Sorcery series and uh, this is the final part for the Sorcery series and possibly the final um, digital version of these books that we actually play through. Um, I've, I've tried the whole Sorcery series and I've got to say I'm not that impressed. The books are far better, more enjoyable, and make more sense, to be honest. Um, this is a little bit weird. So um, we won't be coming back to the Sorcery series, but we may try others in the future. Who knows? Just have to wait and see. All right. Uh, if you're new coming in, there's some goodies in the description box below. And at the end of the video, there'll be some more gaming awesome and if you want to get cheap PSN or Xbox store cards, say like $50 or £50, but only have to pay, say, $30 to £40 or dollars, then click the link below, head over, sign up. You're welcome. All right, let's get into it. Boom. The crown of kings has been stolen by the archmage and taken to the fortress of Mangpang, high in the mountainous of High Examen. You have been sent alone to get it back. To fail would be the end of all. May I travel with honor, all right? The journey has been long. You braved the weird villages of the Shmanti Hills and negotiated Ka, the city port of traps. You survived alone in the desert wilds of Kakabad, but all of that is now past. The true test is still to come. Ha 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 ha! Bring it on, I say. Like a cruel claw sticking up from the earth. Mangpang rises ahead, its shadow casting darkness all over the world. Once a college of magic, it is now the stronghold of the Archmage and his forces. The tower is watching. I don't even know what I'm clicking. Just clicking stuff. You must journey onwards with caution. The mountains are guarded by soldiers, birdmen, and traps. You will enter the fortress of sorcerers and recover the crown of kings. Or else you will die in the attempt. Do you know what, mate? I am betting we will die in the attempt. All right. In fact, I'm guaranteeing death. All right. I like this, though. This is pretty cool. This is the benefit of the digital series like this is you get cool things happen like this. I mean, look at that. That's ace. Imagine if they were all played through like this. I mean, they really stepped up their game here from a, a 2D map to a 3D map. I like it. I like it, boys. Right. This is our character. The sun disappears. You climb an ancient staircase. The steps barely visible in the dark. And guess what? We keep moving. You keep up a steady pace. Wind whistles down the gully, trying to turn you back. But oh, no. We look ahead. You cast a glance at the weary stairs. Only a short distance is visible before they curve away out of sight. For a brief blessed moment, Mang Pang is hidden like a spider curled within its hole. But I am not alone. You are not alone. You'll sense your spirit guide pacing behind you. Mate, you've been nothing. You've done nothing for me. Spirit guide. Rubbish guide. Right now it takes the form of the panther, but this will change as you change, as I change. Oh, hello, am I a werewolf? In the temple they taught you that a prayer to your spirit could heal you, and even save you from death. But the spirits are not generous, and decline to help often. In fact, they always decline to help, to be honest. You can ask the spirits aid using the pray button, but to be honest, you're better off praying. Pulling up your hood against the freeze now, you stride onwards into the dark. You must not linger out here. Yeah, let's get going, guys. Come on up the steps. Whee! And down. Moonlight covers everything. The Zanzu peaks rise on either side like jagged teeth. The path winds back and forth as it climbs and glimpses of the brooding horror of Mangpang come and go. Night has fallen, and the path will be treacherous for sure. 
You should find somewhere to rest as soon as possible. You should have a few days lead over any of the Archmage spies. Right, well, we're going to keep walking because we've only just begun and we always sleep. We always end the video when we sleep, so we don't want to sleep yet. There is nowhere here. You will have to keep climbing. That's what I said, mate. Once... Alcolites walk these stairs on their way to study magic at the Fortress of Sorcerers. Now only ghosts travel this road. Their mutterings carried by the knife-like wind. Is that supposed to be the knife cutting through the air? The knife-like wind. Rough undergrowth springs up, shadowing the path on either side. There might be enough shelter to sleep, but we just keep on climbing. Oh, hello. You sprawl, you walk along when you hear something moving in the bushes behind and turn just in time to see a spike hawk rising from the leaves. Talons outstretched. <laughs> there, are more, there are mere seconds for you to draw your sword. Mate, get him. Lunge. Mm. Where's my sword? There's my sword. Ja, 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 ja. The spike hawk swoops in low. Tal oh, we've already said that. Feathers, feathers drift down onto the stones. The spike hawk issues a bloody call a bloody, and spreads its, spreads its talons wide. The spike hawk's next attack will be strong. So defend yourself. Mate, I'm not defending myself. Cut it down. Boom. Next moment, the bird is plunging from the sky as though intent on skewering you with its beak. You try to cut across the spike hawk's body, but it catches the blow with its talons, and it batters you with its wings. Claws grasp at your side and cut a long bloody gash. The spike hawk opens its beak to wail and moves upwards into the air. Sideswipe it! Sha! Mate, it's almost dead. It's gone. Oh, we killed it. Bye-bye. You wait for the spike hawk's wide wings to open, then you cut a side blow. The spied hawk tumbles as it tries to lift itself away, but it cannot move its wings. It collapses to the grass, and the light in its eyes go dark. Good night. The hawk drops to the ground, the red fire in its eyes turned dark. Right. Um, do I really want to waste time searching for its nest when I'm probably only going to find its kids that I've just made it orphans out of? I don't want that guilt on my conscience. Thank you very much. You wipe your sword and move along the path. Let the kids die. Right. By the caves. Right. The moon moves slowly across the dark sky. You reach the top of the stairs, rounding the corner. Still looking for shelter, you find three cave mouths set into the rock. The path continues past, but who knows what secrets these caves might hold. Perhaps your magic would aid you. Every spell is formed by aligning three stars. Well, we know this because we cast them before. Oi! We, got, we have to cast a spell, guys. We have no choice. Right, okay. P... Uh, e, um, P, P, Pep, causes strength, mate, cast it, but we, we ain't got any fire water, so we can't. You tried to bind the enchantment, but you're missing an item that it needs, and so the spell dissipates around you. Well, do you know what? Let's just carry on, mate, because I don't, I didn't want to cast a spell anyway. You force in my hand. You are unlikely to find a better spot to sleep than the caves. Well, I don't want to sleep. I want to carry on, mate. Walk on. Mate, he's trying to get me to sleep. This venture is not giving me the options. It's saying, try and do this. The steps are becoming wider as the path turns to follow the edge of a deep chasm. A little further on, a rock ledge juts out into the chasm. Two posts stand on either side with a narrow and rather ancient wooden bridge lashed to him. Mate, cross the bridge. <laughs> That's what I say. Just go for it, man. The slopes are too exposed a place to rest. I don't want to rest. If the bridge is sound, it would be quicker, closer. It would get you quickly closer to the citadel. Well, let's go then, mates. Come on, narrow bridge. You step into the foot of the narrow wooden bridge. It is no mean span. The chasm is twice as wide as you had first thought, but the boards look intact enough. Well, let's just go, mates. Uh, make a move. Come oh, on, make a move. Surely such a bridge is too good to be true. Mate, it's like you're trying to tell me that I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm going to see. I'm gonna call you at your bluff. You're trying to tell me that I'll die by going down here, but I'm calling you out, mates. We're doing it. 
Your knuckles are white as you grip the ropes and pace out onto the bridge. As the ropes tighten, the boards move downwards under every step, and it takes all your courage to take each step forward, and we keep moving until we get to the other side. Standing still here is the worst option. I never said stand still. I said move on. If you're going to try to cross, you must be bold. Yeah, well, just get on with it, mate. Keep going. I'm, no one's asking you to stop. You're the one trying to stop the adventure story. <laughs> You keep going, pacing board by board across the bridge. You hear a quiet shack noise and look back to see a small winged creature landing on one of the ropes of the bridge. Its claws grip the cords and it looks at you with curious eyes. Mate, just, just shoo it away. You wave your arms and flap at the flying creature by your head and it stares back at you impassively. The creature's sharp talons are idly working at the ropes. It's trying to cut the bridge out. Mate, cast a spell. What spells can we cast? Fireball. What's fireball? Is that like fof or something? F-O-F. -F. There's no F, so it can't be that. I don't know what fireball is, but we'll go with D. D-O. Oh, pop. That's levitation, I think. D-O-P. Oh, we'll try Z. Causes slowness. Yeah, yeah. Cast it. Yeah, you you open your arms to cast a spell, but nothing happens. The creature beams a toothy grin. You're a sorcerer. It demands. I just ignore the creature. I don't really... Leave me, you declare. I am on a journey. The creature hops a little closer and pokes at you with a talon. You're the Adelander. You begin to shake your head, but the creature clicks its tongue. <coughs> don't bother denying it. You're the Adelander, and you're going to Manpang. Well, listen to this. So am I. Uh, you wish to travel with me, mate? Oh, I don't think you want me to, the creature replies. Not when I leave you so ineffective. The ropes of the bridge sway a little as the creature hops forward a few feet. You finally place what this thing is, and it's a Minimite, the bane of a sorcerer's life. Minimite blood is capable of preventing enchantment from working. Oh. Stay away from me, mate. You do not need to fear me. Even if I know who you are, no one will learn it from me. The creature bows its head. Finn, names can be valuable. I'll give it to you for free. The Minimite hops up into the air. A few of the threads of the guy rope split as he lands and digs his claw in once more. This bridge is going to collapse any moment, you know, he remarks. Oh, I just want to ignore this dude. What do you want me to... Mate, just be gone. Get out of it. Just go. Certainly. We'll meet again, I'm sure. With that, it flaps its long wings and takes to the sky, chuckling to itself. <laughs> just before it disappears out of sight, and it turns and calls back. You will have need of me before the end. The rope on which Finn was sitting gives out as he leaves. The boards rock and sway violently, but the other ropes are holding for the moment. Right, run for it. That's what I say. Run for it. There is clearly nothing for it but to run. Mate, we found a clue. What was the clue? I don't know. <laughs> you lurch forwards across the boards and the pounding of your feet sends the bridge bouncing up and down sharply. Strand after strand, the rope gives way. Keep jump then. You try to jump, but it's too late, and there is nothing to jump from. Legs and arms waving manically in midair. There is only one way to go. The only way is up, baby, for you and me, girl. What's this? What? I don't know. What's happening? I, I don't understand what's... What's meant to be happening here, mate? Jump! I don't, let's ask the panther. Your spirit is the panther. The panther is a creature of balanced heart, prone to long journeys that are taken with great strides. A prayer to your spirit will heal you, but after prayer, your spirit will not hear you again for some time. Well, Pray for healing, mate, might as well. Your spirit has heard you. You'll receive no further help for some time. You're on your own, bitches. Right, well, that was that was wonderful. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, mate. What's spell book? That's no good, is it? Um, 
Mate, what are the... I mean, I, I've got to go to the flag, haven't I? You fall at high speeds, the chasm walls rushing past, there is nothing to hold on to and nothing to slow you down. No large birds swoop to rescue you. Only the ground can catch me. And when you hit the base of the ravine, the last noise you hear is that of your spine shattering into a thousand pieces. Fall into your death, guys. The adventure's over. It's game over. I'm telling you, this was a load of rubbish. Well, that's uh, that's it, mate. Uh, we're gone. No, I'm sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. No, you stop crying, guys. That's it. It's over. Adventure over. These are crap, honestly. <laughs> I am not a big fan of these, I tell you. I much prefer the books. You know what I mean? I much prefer the books. And uh, in case you're wondering, next month in March, in about three weeks' time, we're going to be reading this one here. Legend of the Shadow Warriors. Let's just read the back of this book and see what it says. It says, A strange madness is aboard is abroad in Galantria. Villagers are being put to the sword by five ghostly figures. The Shadow Warriors are mysterious beings from an ancient legend who have somehow returned to life. But are they all that they seem? You are the battle-scarred veteran hired to solve the mystery, but even you have never faced a challenge like the Shadow Warriors, for the whole of the whole world, old world, is threatened by their terrible secret, Shadow Warriors, coming soon to a theatre near you. And that's it, guys. Uh, 17 minutes, man, that's all we lasted, isn't it? Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I mean, we could go on and have a look at, like, uh, what's this here? Fighting Fantasy Classics. We could go on and see these, you know, uh, read some more of these. Um, I mean, we may do this next week. Uh, I don't know. But um, that's it. Check out the description box below for some awesomeness. And um, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's it, though, for the, the digital ones. They're just rubbish. I don't like them. I really don't. If I don't like it, I can't get into it. I can't. Do you know what I mean? Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I gave them a go, and that's what I think. Sorry. Have a good one, guys. Bye.